Hi guys, it's Mal. Um, it is currently 12.24 a.m. And this is the not-so-fun part of um, withdrawal. Insomnia, pain, etc. <laughs> and this is the time where it's like you just lay in bed and start to think and your mind wanders and you start to think of all of all of the details and the scary things and I know I made the right decision um, to do this rapid detox but at the same time I would be completely lying if I said I wasn't scared and at the same time I I want to get this over with. I just I mean there's there's so many things in my life that I haven't been able to do or follow through with because of the medication and like example um, I'll go on a date and literally, like, run to the bathroom to take my medicine because I don't want to take my, you know, massive medicine in front of this guy <laughs> first day. He's going to be, like, running for the hills. Um, so it's just, you know, it's, it's those kinds of normal things that normal girls do that I want to be able to do. And I want to be able to sleep through the night and not blaring headaches. And and that's another thing is I'm just scared what's what's under all these drugs. Is is there still pain there? And am I going to go back to a 24-hour headache? I, I, oh, I'm going to light. Um, am I going to go through all of this and then have to go right back on drugs because the pain is too bad? Like it... It was last time I, I did um, withdraw from all of the narcotics, or well, most of the narcotics. So, you know, all these questions are to go through my mind. And if you guys have watched, you know, previous um, videos I've done, I've, I've talked about this before. And, and honestly, I'm kind of saying this as much for you guys as I am for myself. But um, sometimes you just have to give up. And you're probably thinking... What the heck is she talking about? Why are you giving up? But I'm not talking about giving up as in quitting. I'm talking about um, giving up as in giving up everything to God. Because if I try to carry this myself, there's just no way. I can't. I'm not physically, mentally, emotionally able to deal with it. Um, but God can he can handle anything and everything and he's got you know he's got the whole world in his hand and if he can handle the whole world I think he can handle you know one drug dependent 20 something so I know that God has a plan for my life and it says in the word that he's plans beyond our wildest dreams and got some pretty wild dreams so I know that God has really great things in store for me just as he, does, as he does for every single one of you guys out there and that's when I pray for you guys I just I really pray especially for everything that you dream of because I think dreams are so important and dreams get us through the hard times having something to cling to and um, sometimes our dreams are different than God's dreams. My dream was to be a starving actress in New York, and I was able to get a national TV job out of nowhere. It was completely God thrown in my lap, and now I get to do all these amazing things, and it's just, it's God. And I know that he has that in store for each and every one of you. That maybe it's the exact dream you have in mind, or maybe it's something different. Um, but either way, that's what I pray for you. So, I guess, 
and my insomnia stayed here. Um, I'm just encouraging every one of you and trying to encourage myself. Um, just give up your worries to God. You know, it says also in the Bible that don't worry about tomorrow because God will take care of tomorrow. Um, you know, if he can feed the birds, he can take care of us. And I hate birds. So, you know, I really don't know why I do this. I'm really, I have this phobia of birds. FYI. Um, oh, it's late. Um, but, yeah, I just, I just have to keep giving up to God. And that's something that, it's not even a one-time thing. It's over and over and over again that you have to keep giving it up to God. Because, if you're, especially if you're like me, you're a control freak. We like to take back that control. Um, so it's just releasing that and letting it go and saying, God, I'm giving this to you. I'm trusting you with this. And that's key. And I know if I just trust in God that he will lead me and guide me and get me through it. So that's my midnight message. So talk to you guys soon. Hopefully I can get to sleep.